हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज डॉक्टर श्वेता मिश्रा डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड मैनेजमेंट बियानी ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेजेस टुडे द टॉपिक व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू टेक इज लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग ग्राफिकल मेथड नाउ द फर्स्ट इज व्हाट इज लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग द टर्म लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग हैज बीन डिवाइडेड इन टू पार्ट्स दैट इज लीनियर एंड प्रोग्रामिंग द वर्ड लीनियर व्हाट डज इट मीन द टर्म लीनियर इज दैट ऑल द रिलेशन अमंग द वेरिएबल्स आर लीनियर दैट इज द पावर of the variables that we which we are going to take is raised to the power 1 the power of all the variables that we are going to take in linear programming is has the power 1 now what is programming programming is that once the problem has been uh, selected it has to be transformed or drafted in mathematical model once the problem has been drafted in mathematical model we can easily solve it by using programming technique so combining linear programming is a mathematical technique in which the relation among the variables are linear and these variables we are going to draft it in mathematical model to solve our problem now this technique has been developed by george b danzig marshall wood and their associates in 1947 now in general a linear programming is a scientific and mathematical technique a scientific and mathematical technique is because the prop the variables or the problem that has been selected is to be drafted in mathematical terms is used to allocate limited resources as such the resources are limited that's why the problem of allocation arises among competitive activities the resources which we are going to allocate has to be allocated in the most competitive activities to achieve our objective the objective is to maximize profit or it can be to minimize cost provided all the relation among the variables are linear that is i have already discussed that the relations among the variables should be linear that's i am again highlighting my point that the variables which we are going to use in linear programming should be linear in relation now as we have understood what is linear programming now moving on to our next topic that is properties of linear programming now there are three properties of linear programming the first one is objective function second is constraint and restraint and third is non negativity condition now i am concentrating on the first is objective function the objective of linear programming is either to maximize profit or to minimize cost Uh, in each and every lp problem the objective should be either to maximize profit or to minimize cost now the second is constraint and restraint there are two types of constraint or restraint in linear programming problems that is less than or equal to type of constraint or greater than or equal to type of constraint and the third is non negativity condition this is that whatever decision variables that we are going to take should be equal to 0 or positive but it can never be negative that is if we have taken two variables that is x and y both the variables can be zero or can be positive but it can never be negative now on the basis of these properties how to formulate a linear programming problem that we are going to discuss in our next chat lecture thank you thank you thank you